Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Laura. What I am going to share with you today is what is trending real hot on the internet right now and that is the, the hot cocoa chocolate bombs. I did experiment a little bit and I ran into some problems and you know I tried different things so hopefully the final result you'll be able to try with no problem. I did do a couple of flavors and a couple of different designs with them and I think they came out real cute and I think they will be great for gift giving for the holiday season. Now, if you are new here, welcome. My name is Laura, where I post cooking and baking videos at least twice a week. If you like my content, please hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a video. And if you like the video, don't forget, give it a big thumbs up. Okay, guys, let's get started. Alrighty, here we go. There's a whole bunch of stuff up here because I decided to go crazy with these things and just try all kinds of stuff. The first thing we are going to need is a silicone mold. Okay, I got these off of Amazon. They do come in different sizes. This is the larger one. And this is the medium. And this is a very tiny one. Okay, great for candy making, but we are not gonna use the, the smaller of the two. We are just gonna use the larger one. I did have a cookie tray just to make it easy to transport the, the chocolates when we pour them. I have some sprinkles some baking cups, some food coloring, some uh, hot chocolate, and some Swiss Miss milk chocolate hot cocoa mix, and some candy canes that I crushed up. And the main ingredient are these candy wafers in white, and I got the, uh, the dark chocolate for the chocolate ones. You can use the milk chocolate if you like, whatever your preference, whatever you like. And what I did, is I put the wafers in a cup, in a microwave safe cup. You melt it in 30 second intervals and you stir it every time until it's completely melted. So here we have the chocolate mm, and it looks so good. I like the dark chocolate because when you add the cocoa into the bomb, it just, it's not as sweet. So that's why I decided to go with the dark chocolate. Okay, but if you like the milk, go with the milk. Okay, so I put my silicone mold on top of the cookie sheet just to make it easy to transport to the refrigerator. What I do is I get a little spoon and I spoon out about a teaspoon and a half per mold. And now what we need to do with the back of the spoon is swirl it all around the mold. And what I found that works easier for me is if the chocolate is not piping hot out of the microwave. Let it sit on the counter for just a few minutes so that the temperature can drop just a little bit. And that helps the chocolate set easier on the mold and it doesn't just all settle at the bottom. And what you want is an even coating all the way around on the sides and the bottom. Okay, so you're gonna let them sit here on the counter for just a minute and as they harden on the side what you want to do is keep bringing up the chocolate so that it adheres to the side because you don't want the the sides to fall apart because that's what's going to glue them together the pieces and if you want to roll it around like this you can whatever is easy for you and if it comes out of the mold like it just did that's okay you can just scoop it back in there just get an offset spatula. Okay, now what I did, what you don't normally see is I flipped it over and I let a lot of that chocolate drip out. Now I'm gonna wait for a little bit, let it keep dripping. And it looks like a hot mess right now, but believe me, this works to coat the chocolate. Okay, now you just get on the side here, get that side off, move your cookie tray aside and clean up your chocolate. It's a little messy. Just give them a little roll one last time. Okay, I'm gonna pop these into the refrigerator and I'll be back in a few minutes. I took out the silicone from the refrigerator and the way I take them out is I start on the sides. I just peel off the sides like this so that it doesn't break. Just gently. Just like that, just in case it's stuck to the sides. And then you just pop it up from the bottom. And that's it. 
Look at that. How pretty. So I set it on a plate. And I'm going to put these back in the refrigerator. And we are going to clean up the mold. And we are going to make some, some white chocolate ones. Okay, now we are going to do the white chocolate. I'm just going to give this a little mix. See how easier it is if you let the chocolate cool down? It's easier to spread. Now I'm going to pop these in the fridge and I'll be back. Okay, we are going to assemble the chocolate ones. Okay, you see how they don't have a very smooth edge and that's okay. What I did is I warm up a skillet. I just put it here on a trivet and it's kind of warm. We're going to add our chocolate mix or hot cocoa mix, whatever your preference is. I am going to fill these all the same. And then I'm going to add some marshmallows. What I did with the marshmallows, I pop them in the freezer so they don't stick anywhere but where they're supposed to. And that kind of helped out. Put as many marshmallows as you want as whatever's going to fit in there. And then you take your, I'm going to get some crushed peppermint candy canes and I'm going to add it to one of these. And there, I think that's enough. And then I take the lid, what is the lid, and I press it on the hot, the warm skillet and you see how it melts it? And then you just put it on top, hold them together and if it doesn't stick, just do it again. Just like that. And you can press these out if you want to on the skillet. The little edges. You can just take it around the skillet and press it down with your finger. And there you go. You have a perfect little bomb. Now let's adhere these. Okay, now what I do with these is I get the little baking cups, whatever baking cup I want to use. I have green, I have some chevron, I have red. Let's use the red, the multicolored. You pop in your little bomb into the little cup. Okay, and what I did is I got some of the chocolate the white chocolate and I added a little bit of food coloring to each little bowl and I put them into these piping bags. I use them to decorate the tops of the bombs. Now if these sit on the counter and they get firm, if they firm up on you, pop them in the microwave for 20 seconds and it'll loosen the chocolate back up. Okay, so I'm just going to decorate one however you want to do it. You want to put a lot, put a lot, and then I just sprinkle it with either some peppermint. That looks really cute. Let's do a red. That one didn't turn out too good. Let's put some sparkles on this one. I have some little candy canes here. Let's add a little candy cane. Now the green one, let's just go green and green. Some green sugar. And there you go. Isn't that cute? Now I'm going to show you how I package these as soon as we get the white ones out because I want to show you how I like to package them to give them for gifts. Okay, I have the white chocolate now out. I think if you let the chocolate cool quite a bit when pouring, that really helps them come out better. And there's our white ones. And this one, I'm going to add some mint chocolate hot cocoa mix. The marshmallows. I hope you can see. And some extra peppermint. Make it real peppermint tasting. Okay. 
Okay, let's get our skillet. And just remember, if it doesn't stick for you, you can get a little bit of the chocolate, just a little bit, and seal it with the chocolate. Nobody's gonna see that. Okay, and there we go, there are the white ones. Okay, let's go ahead and put these in some colorful ones. Okay, I think these I'm just gonna do white on white. Press them down just a little bit, and there you go. Isn't that cute? Okay, let me clean this up and I'll be right back. All right guys, here is the final product. They just look so cute. Now I'm gonna show you easy way to package these if you want to give these out as gifts. I get these little boxes on Amazon. They're real small. I think they're six by six by three. Now you can either put uh, tissue paper, some pretty tissue paper in here, or you can put some fill. I think I'm going to use the fill. I didn't find dark green, but I had lime green, so we're going to go with the lime green. Okay, and then you just add in your little bombs in there, whichever ones you want to put. Some green. And some peppermint. Look at that. How pretty that looks. And of course, the bombs will not touch the fill because they're in the little baking cups. So they'll be okay. Just fix them up nicely, close the box, and there you go. Look at that, how cute that is for a gift. Okay, let's go ahead and do the, the actual thing that it's intended for. Okay, here we go. I think I am going to pick the chocolate one. Okay, so what you do is you take your, your bomb, you place it in your cup, and I'm going to pour my milk out of this gravy boat because I did not have a little container for the milk. Very hot milk or water. And hopefully it's going to pick up the chocolate melting. There it goes. Look at that. How delicious. I hope you saw that. Look at that. And then you just stir it around. And drink your hot chocolate. I can tell this is the one with the peppermint because it has a tint of red in it. How delicious. Look at that. How cute is that? Let's take a sip. Mmm, that's good. Okay, guys, we're just going to take a sip of this chocolate. It's so good. Mmm, it was the one with the peppermint. Delicious. Mm-mm. I hope y'all give these a try, guys. Look at how pretty these are. Great for gift giving. Okay, guys, that's going to conclude the video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I sure enjoyed making it for you. Don't forget, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and go visit us on Facebook and Instagram at Virtual Kitchen with Laura. Talk to you later, guys. Bye.